guys take a look at this take, take just 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 look at this <laughs> look at this my guys look at it just read out eh? the 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 nigerian government eh, is too smart the government to get sense you understand the government to get sense before people are thinking they are already thinking ahead that's why I tell people, don't play with Nigeria. Don't play. Don't play, guys. This is, this is, this will take everybody by shock. You understand? Remember, with Nigerians are just from doing their evaluation of one year into office. Everybody was comparing. Everybody has taken the advantage since we know how people talk about Nigeria. Everybody's waiting for anything wrong, anything to go wrong somewhere in Nigeria. They will start shouting shouting everybody oh we are now the fourth economy Ghana and south africa they are laughing nigeria is now the fourth economy they are the fourth they are the fourth i'm, I'm laughing they are saying inflation inflation <laughs> nigeria government eh, can never be a mumu government no matter who is in price who is even if it's p2b even if it's tinibu anybody one thing is for sure that Nigeria government can never be a mumu government. Let me tell you, Nigeria can never mumu. So all this inflation that you see that is happening, all these economic twists and changes that you're seeing that's happening, something is cooking up in the back. It's starting to come out. It's starting to come out. Now, the NNPC, that's the Nigerian National Petroleum, whatever they call it, they realize that Nigeria already know the state of see before a country like Nigeria, the way the country has been, before the country will stand, there must be some breakage. The country there must be some shaking. It will make as if it's falling. There must be some damages here and there before that country revives. Africa in general, before, for example, Burkina Faso, before Burkina Faso, now the man that has taken power. Before they have taken the courage to do what they are doing in Burkina Faso, it first of all seemed as if Burkina Faso was shrinking. So people are just, oh, economy, Naira, Diwali, they don't know what's up. Fuel went from how much and rose to about 1,000. Right now, fuel in Nigeria was about 1,000 something. There was no organization in the fuel sector. People were taking fuel subsidies and doing it, using it to be house, using it to travel abroad, using it to be out for their girlfriend. But the government knew that if I have to restructure this thing, there is something I must do. Understand? So people started gallivanting. Now look at this. Now look at. You can. I, I'm putting it on the screen so you see. Ajin is not creating story, and Ajin no go ever create story because what are they doing? A legit work. I'm only sharing great and positive things. 200 Naira. 200 Naira in this inflation economy you are talking about. If you can get fuel to fuel your car for 200 Naira. Remove the inflation. Go back to the other previous economy. It means that the price is actually about 70 something Naira or 50 Naira. Because inflation has tripled. A dollar... That was probably 500 is about 15 which means that 100 naira now normally is like 50 naira or lower back then so 200 naira for fuel it's happening my only issue now will be will they only do this in lagos and stuff because because you can actually read you can actually read everything so the commission they have put a new filling station in lagos to serve nigerians my only issue now is why would you put it only in Lagos? But I'm sure that the government will not do something to limit it to Lagos. There must be a bigger plan. Because when the NNPC is now controlling the fuel, all the money that is coming from the fuel sector will be entering the government. The government can now use the money to develop Nigeria. But before, everybody in the fuel sector is using is just doing anyhow. You understand? So this is restructuring, this is reorganization. So Nigerians will be able to get fuel for 200 Naira. <laughs> okay, so the plant is expected to serve over 
3,700 cars, 3,700 cars and about 600 trucks daily, on a daily basis. Those of you in Lagos, relax. And you were the ones making the highest noise. Even Nigerians that didn't understand were making the highest noise. So, 600 trucks daily hmm, that are running on the fuel that will be provided. So, the Tinubu's administration has intensified effort to get more Nigerians to use cars that will be able to use. Because this is now a multi-dimensional business opportunity. The fuel they are providing will function, will, in, will, will enhance people to now choose to buy certain kind of cars. And maybe Nigeria can now be producing those cars. This government to get sense, Nigerians to get sense, Nigeria to get sense. Nigeria can never move, can never. That's why I, I was, when I suddenly saw the way Naira was dropping, I, I suddenly saw the inflation. Something kept telling me, Ajin, there is a plan behind this. And I know that there is a plan. And the plan will eventually come out. And I will celebrate because even as the inflation is what it is, the Nigeria's economic growth rate now is higher than ever. For those of you who read articles, the growth rate in Nigeria economy now is higher than ever. So now go calm down. Nigeria government, Nigeria can never move. I don't care who is the president. Even if it's anybody that enter president now in Nigeria can never move. Because uh, at the end of the day, a Nigerian is a Nigerian. It doesn't matter if it's an Igbo or a Yoruba or another. A Nigerian is a Nigerian. And the standards that Nigeria has set, every president will do better in Nigeria now. It is what it is, guys. I'm so happy for you guys. This is good news. Getting fuel for 200 naira. <laughs> God bless you guys. You guys will enjoy your Nigeria. Enjoy your Nigeria. Ask somebody where the UK, where the America. Make it tell you how much they get fuel. Guys, let's keep doing this. There are more videos coming. So make sure you're a full-time subscriber. Make sure that you're always coming in to watch anytime you're free because there's always more interesting and amazing videos just for you. God bless you all. Cheese.